We usually talk about network bandwidth and network latency together. People have this colloquial idea of how fast your internet connection is. And good connections will produce both good bandwidth and good latency. And in some ways, bandwidth and latency are tied together. If you have a low bandwidth path, um, latency can increase because your traffic queues up at a router, and that's one of the primary sources of latency on the internet. Um, however, Bandwidth and latency are not the same thing, and probably the easiest way to convince yourself of this is to perform a pretty simple thought experiment. So let's say I have a huge amount of data on this disk. So uh, let's say I have like the first 20 seasons of The Bachelor, um, and I want to send this to somebody uh, who wants to watch all that. Um, and let's say I want to get this to California. Um, to my friend who's a big Bachelor fan and hasn't seen the first 20 seasons. So this is probably, you know, multiple terabytes worth of data. And there's, you know, two ways I could do this. One way is I could take this, I could plug it into my computer, and I could let him start downloading it. And if I did that, the first packet would arrive fairly quickly. So if he wanted to start watching it right away, um, that would be the smallest latency for him to start the process of, of watching it because he'd start to get data. But the entire transfer, because of how much data this is, might take several days. So rather than using the sophisticated global network of interconnected computers that we've built, I have a different proposal that is actually the fastest bandwidth connection. So latency for that connection, at least for him to start watching it, the, the show, is, is good. Uh, bandwidth, it might take a week for, him, for that person to download the entire, uh, all these episodes. However, I have another uh, piece of sophisticated communication technology right here. And this, it turns out, will actually produce a higher bandwidth connection. So for large amounts of data, like terabytes and terabytes of data, if you want the highest bandwidth connection, the best thing to do is drop it in the mail, particularly overnight. Get a small thing, a little bubble wrap, wrap it up. Overnight it over there, maybe it costs, you know, 20, 30 bucks or whatever, um, but it'll be there tomorrow. And actually, again, for large amounts of data, when people want to, sh to want to send around huge amounts of information, terabytes, petabytes of information, it is always faster to put it in the mail. Even if it takes a day or two to arrive, the amount of time it would take to stream all that across the internet is much, much, much longer. However, this connection does have a problem. It has a different feature than the other connection, which is that if I mail this, let's say I send it overnight, let's say my friend wants to start watching right away. If I Even if I send this as fast as possible, like overnight, it still arrives the next day. And so the latency for that connection is worse. So bandwidth versus latency. Large amounts of data, you want to get, if you want the highest bandwidth connection, use the mail. If you want the lowest latency connection, at least for the start, for a time to receive the first packet, stream it across the internet. And that's a good way to keep those two concepts separate.